Hey y'all, today I'm back to share with you another favorites video and these will be my favorites for the month of April. And I'm just gonna go ahead and get started. So first up, I have a perfume that I actually mentioned in one of my previous videos. Um, I'll link that video down below. But anyway, this is the Marc Jacobs Honey Perfume. And this is like the epitome of springtime perfume to me. It smells like honey. If you, it, I mean, if you like those kind of scents, then you will love this. It's sweet, kind of has a little bit of that beeswax smell, but much sweeter, and it just smells like springtime. So I've really been enjoying this this month. Um, I'm one of those people who likes to switch up my perfumes every day or so, but I've been consistently turning on this a lot this month, probably about half the days of the month. Okay, so the next item is something that I've been using on my hair lately, and this is not even supposedly made for the hair. It's supposedly a bath, body, and massage oil it's by Shea Moisture, and it's the Argan Oil and Raw Shea Oil. So uh, basically, I've been using this just as a hair oil. I, I usually will go get jojoba oil from Whole Foods, but I ran out, like I said. And so I decided to pick this up at Walgreens because looking at the ingredients, it's just all natural oils. Um, it's no mineral oil. It has shea oil, safflower, safflower, I cannot talk today. Safflower oil, <laughs> um, argan oil, and some other stuff in it. So I've just been using this on my hair. And the reason I wanted to include it is because like this big bottle is $10. And I don't know if you all buy natural oils, but typically I can get like a bottle like this size for about $10 or more. So um, I just decided to try this out and I'm really happy I did. It gives my hair shine, which of course I didn't use it today, but <laughs> um, it gives my hair shine, but it's not too heavy. Okay, so now for the makeup. Uh, first, I'm going to start with the foundation I've been loving this month. And I actually did a video on this foundation, just my last video. Now, I know I just did a first impression on it, but when that video went up, that was probably about two, two and a half weeks old at that point. I did it a while ago and never got a chance to post it. So, I used this for pretty much all month. And it's the Dior Skin Nude foundation I'm in the color 050 and I love this I like the finish that it gives me it's very skin like but it still provides some coverage and it's on the dewy side but not too dewy like I get oily while wearing this if I don't blot like at the end of the day though not two hours three hours into wearing it I'm talking about like seven eight hours into wearing it but I just really like the finish that's um, that's what makes me really enjoy this foundation. I like the way it feels on my skin and I like that it lasts all day. So I'm not wearing it today, but if you want to see what it looks like, I'll link that video down below. Another thing I've been loving has been my Mac Studio Fix. I'm sorry. Another thing I've been loving has been my Mac Studio Finish Concealer, and this is in the shade NC45. And this is an oldie but a goodie. Y'all see that? It looks horrible. <laughs> I've had this forever and I had kind of stopped using it because I just found other concealers that I prefer. But what I've been using it for lately is just to clean up my brows. And it's one of those things that I kind of take for granted until, you know, something makes it stand out to me. So this month I've been pretty much doing my own brows. I haven't been getting them done just because I haven't felt like going and sometimes my eyebrow girl is too rushed and she will mess up my brow so I just really haven't felt like going though so I've been doing my brows at home but with that they're not as clean as when I get them threaded so this um, concealer has been a lifesaver as far as covering up those extra brow hairs that I don't get to or when it's time for me to kind of touch it up some so I've really been enjoying that also for my brows I know I mentioned this before but I really wanted to mention it again because it's been a while and like I said, with me doing my brows, the, this has really come in handy. This is my Anastasia Dip Brow Pomade. I'm in the color Chocolate and I still love it, guys. I kind of want a, want to get another color for the summer just because typically I lighten up my hair in the summer or it kind of lightens up on its own. So I was kind of thinking about getting something a little bit lighter for the summer, but I'm not positive about that. But Right now, I'm still using the chocolate, and I love it. 
and the brush I've been using with it is the Anastasia number 12 brush and the only complaint I have about this brush is that the words have already faded off and I've only had it for since probably like December January so I kind of think for a higher end company that shouldn't really be happening but anyway I really do enjoy how the brush works I like the spoolie like the fact that it's small and it's kind of on the stiffer side um, but it's not hard like some cheaper spoolies can be I also like that the tip is stiff and long um, because it just makes it easier for me to to be very precise sometimes if your um, if the angle brushes are too soft it kind of just wiggles around and you really can't get a precise line so I've really been enjoying this brush another brush is this is actually kind of a favorite and a regret well it's not a regret I take that back I love it but there are some cons to it this is the NARS Yachio brush I'm sure I'm pronouncing that wrong but it'll be down below but basically I've been using this for blush and the reason I've really been enjoying it this month is because I've been trying out some of my more pigmented blushes and this just makes them a lot easier to apply. It picks up just very little product and it really helps to blend it out. Um, I find that sometimes, especially with more expensive, I mean, I'm sorry, with cheaper, more pigmented blushes, they can be a little bit harder to blend, but this makes those blushes easy. So if you are in the market for a high-end blush brush, and you're a blush beginner, I think this will be a good investment because it really just makes pigmented blushes easy. Now, for the con of this brush is the price. I think this brush is almost like $50 or something. I don't know. I can't recall right offhand. I've had it a while now. Um, but it's a lot. So price is a downer. Also, it sheds a little bit. And I'm not talking about a lot, but especially when I first got it, I got a couple of stray hairs, which for a brush that's expensive, I don't want to see any stray hair. So keep that in mind if you're thinking about getting this brush. But I've been enjoying it this month. The next item I have is a primer. And this is the Laura Mercier Foundation Primer in Radiance Bronze. And I think I did a blog post on this. I will put that down below. But basically, this just provides radiance to my face but still keeps my makeup on for a long time. So it still acts like a primer, but it gives me that extra glow. So I've been liking to wear this under my more satin finish foundations. I typically like to pair it up with my um, Smashbox Studio Skin because this is just a very natural finish foundation and this just makes it extra glowy. So of course I'm not wearing it today. Sorry, but um, I do really enjoy this. Oh, by the way, this is this was a hundred point perk from Sephora, but when this runs out, I am going to seriously consider purchasing the full size. Next is my first high end mascara that I have purchased for full price. Well, pretty much full price. I got it during the VIB sale, but <laughs> this is the Too Faced Better Than Sex mascara. Now. I used to be the kind of girl who said I would never go out and buy high-end mascara. But I kept trying all these mascara samples and I was really liking some of the higher-end ones I tried. So during the VIB sale, I was planning on getting the um, Benefit Their Real Mascara. But while I was there, I just decided to try out the Too Faced Better Than Sex because I heard that they were similar and I heard that this was a great mascara and I can always find the benefit one in the small version so I figured I might as well you know get the most bang for my buck and get a regular size version of this one but I love this it is very volumizing and it lengthens a little bit but it's mainly mainly volumizing the thing you have to be careful with with this mascara is that um, if you don't wipe off the tip before applying it, you can get some clumps. But that's okay with me. Um, you, if I get a clump, I'll usually just go through with a like a brow comb and comb it out, or I'll go through with another mascara just to separate it out. But I typically don't do that. But I love this stuff. It makes you look like you have fake lashes on. So let me show you guys the brush. And it has that hourglass shape to it. 
So I still can't decide if I like this better or they're real better. Um, but right now I am loving this one. The last two items I want to share with you are lip products. And the first one is what I'm wearing. This is the Bite Beauty Matte Lip Crayon in the color Grape. And I really like this. I wanted to try some Bite Beauty products, but I'm not really, I don't know. I'm more of a fan of matte lips. And a lot of the Bite Beauty products are not glossy, but they're, I don't know, they're just not matte enough for me. So when I saw these, I was excited because it's in a, a crayon form and it has a drier texture than the regular lipsticks by Bite. So I wasn't really worried about them melting like people complain the regular lipsticks do. So I decided to pick it up and I love this color because it's a like a purple color it's grape but it has enough pink in it i'm sorry my mirror's over here <laughs> it has enough pink in it that i don't feel like people stare at me when i wear it out in the daytime i've worn this just like out to the movies and out you know just doing stuff during the day running errands and i didn't feel out of place so i've really been enjoying this this month and i want to try some of the other colors and then the last lip product is this Too Faced Melted Liquefied Longwear Lipstick. This is in the shade Melted Coral. I did a video on these as well, so I'll put that down below. But um, my favorite shade when I did that video was the Melted Violet. And I still think it's my favorite shade because it's the most, I don't know, I just like it the best. But the one that I've been really wearing has been the Melted Coral because I just feel like it goes with... A lot of the things I've been wearing for the last month. And I really like the way the shade looks on me. So if you want to see lip swatches of this, you can check out my video for that down below. And I think that's it for my favorites this month, guys. I appreciate you all watching, and I will see you in the next video. Bye.